Aww, animals. Scientists discover ancient ticks that fed on dinosaurs. Scientists have discovered a new species of tick called Danocroton draculae in ancient fossils. The name means Dracula's terrible tick. The ticks were found inside 99 million year old lumps of amber from Myanmar. Two of the ticks were found with a dinosaur feather, one was wrapped around it. Researchers say the finding is the first direct evidence that ticks fed on feathered dinosaurs. Scientists suspect the feather belonged to an unknown type of dinosaur or an ancient bird species called Enantiornithine. This one gorged so much on dino blood, she bloated to eight times her size and stayed that way for 99 million years. Now that's an epic cheat day. Bugs. Wow. Researchers with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Okeanos Explorer spotted a remarkable sight of a deep sea spider waltzing during their third dive of their 2017 Gulf of Mexico mission. Have a look. I've never seen one swimming. No. So Tina thinks this is from the order Pantopoda. That's a translation of Pantopoda is all legs, so it's a very appropriate name. Study shows 76% drop in flying bug populations. Bugs, while icky, are critical to nature and new research indicates they might be in decline. The research looked at the biomass of flying insects inside 63 German nature reserves. It found that between 1989 and 2016, the reserve's total flying insect population had declined by an average of 76%. The cause of the massive drop is unclear, but the fact the insects vanished at such a high rate has scientists concerned. The researchers say their findings could be representative of other areas around the world. Nature needs bugs, and we need nature. And if there's no nature, well, the planet becomes Mars 2.0. Tree-killing beetles set to invade northern U.S. and Canada. A recent study shows a warming climate has expanded tree-killing southern pine beetles' habitats and forests in the northern U.S., which means southern Canada could soon be ravaged by the pests in the coming decades. The southern pine beetle, one of the world's most aggressive tree-killing insects, has typically only lived in Central America and the southeastern United States. Thousands of adult beetles can attack a tree in just two months by carving S-shaped tunnels under the bark. It is predicted that the beetles should gradually spread north along the Atlantic coast all the way up to Canada's Nova Scotia. By 2080, the pest could infest red and jack pines, which extend across more than 270,000 square miles in the U.S. and Canada, which is roughly the size of Afghanistan. According to the U.S. Forest Service, infestations of pine beetles have cost an estimated annual timber loss of $100 million from 1990 to 2004 in the southeastern U.S. 